In a dogfight, Gripen test pilots have the cockpit confidence that their plane won't come in second place. So I will leave that to the Air Forces that uses the aircraft who's going to win. But this is capable to win. But with its $3.5 billion contract taking political flack in Switzerland, Saab is looking over the horizon. And they stress that the Gripen's flexibility will keep it competitive in a dangerous world. But soon someone else will find a way to counter that. And then you have to be better than that. And that's how it's going to be developed. Good or bad? Costly, yes, but that's the way the world looks like. Uh, and and uh, if you can't counter those threats, you're going to be behind after a while. It's still a complicated task. 110,000 fasteners, then 23,000 parts. Once the fuselage is complete, the fighter takes 68 days to assemble. There's only one machine in the entire plant because this is labor intensive work. You see these guys, they're putting in some 300 meters of tubing, 30 kilometers of wiring, and then the next step, it gets a nose and some wings. Saab currently produces eight fighters a year, but wants to increase that to 30. Over the next 20 years, the goal is 10% share of the global fighter market. Air combat, in a way, is more straightforward, but it also depends on conditions out of a fighter pilot's control. Who's going to win against who? Two versus two, one versus one, four versus four, five versus two, or you, you can set up a scenario the way you want. We can provide an aircraft with excellent performance and show that and demonstrate that. Then it's up to them to think, how can we use this? If I were a test pilot from another country, after my safety training, after my simulator time, I could take this out and test its capabilities in the full envelope. Hans Nichols, Bloomberg, Linköping, Sweden.